Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Let's get on to today's challenge. All right, so I've got this challenge and it is to build the challenger from OMP Hobby. Now, this is gonna be good, okay? So number one, it's a balsa airplane. Number two, it's an ARF, so it should be quick, right? Well, the manual that I've reviewed, see, I I printed the manual. Um, <laughs> I printed the manual and it says it should take about an hour. So I thought, well, let's challenge myself. Let's try to do it faster than that. So we're gonna see how quickly it takes me today. And uh, for those of you wondering, yes, there is progress on the Mustang. <laughs> Trust me, there's a very logical explanation. But enough of that, enough of that. Let's do something fun, let's do something crazy. All right, so to, uh, to start this off, we have the box right here. Now, I will say that this comes in a really quite nice box. It's very thick cardboard, double walled. Oh, oh, hi, buddy. I'm sorry, what? Okay, if you say so. All right, so we've got this really nice box. It comes in an even sturdier box that's it's mailed in. And on top of that, it comes with wood boards inside to make sure this thing does not get crushed at all. This is how the modeling should be. <laughs> the model should come to you intact and it does it absolutely does now a couple things about the omp hobby challenger so omp is ohio model products and uh i i have been keeping an eye on them their their new stuff is looking pretty great and we have more company in the shop thank you thank you so uh really cool stuff it's a 3s2200 but uh it's got a pretty pretty decent uh wingspan at 49 inches and length is 39 points. I mean, we've got a 40 amp ESC. Electric flying weight is 2.578, but 40 amps, that's quite a bit of power. All right, so the, the cool thing is also that in addition to four Metal Gear mini servos, um, digital servos. So we'll get into that in a minute uh, once we get the airplane put together. But key to a fast build is number one have the airplane out so i'm going to do an unboxing and then i'll be stopping to uh to talk about everything that's unboxed but also have your instructions i reviewed the instructions pretty much everything that i need is on the table we've got glue uh, i'm using this loctite glue because it's readily available and accessible not everybody's going to have hobby like the uh, zap uh the zap glues so i'm using just regular glue like anybody would use something to cut with a battery just for test fitting and powering basic things um, i've got drill bits because i need a drill bit once and then screwdriver of whatever i need in there so let's get to unboxing all right and we're back uh so everything unwrapped just fine Ooh, i missed one i missed one so a comment quick comment on this tape this tape is pretty dang sticky it's not super super sticky but like i've seen models come where it's so sticky that it leaves residue on the airplane i don't think this tape will do that but what it does do is it sticks pretty well so watch this seam Watch the seam. Yeah, see it lift just a little bit. That's something to watch out for as you're unwrapping this. Now, with any covered model, you are going to want to take the covering and just go over it with a covering iron. If you don't have a covering iron, it's okay. It'll work just fine. Just keep in mind that you want to be a little bit more careful with it. My covering iron is here on my shelf. Uh, after I get this together and fly it, yeah, I'll probably go over it with a covering iron. But... Uh, Initial thoughts, initial thoughts. Okay, so we're coming with uh, these ball clevises, which is awesome. Pre-installed, 
Now the other cool thing is that the manual says that these horns are on the airplane pre-centered. So we should be able to plug in our receiver and they power everything up and it should be fine. With that said, these are super cool hatches. This hatch is for where the receiver would be. Uh, also, I'm guessing, uh, yeah, wing spar here. And there is a nylon screw that holds the wing in. And I'm assuming that goes either here or here. We'll find out when we get it together. These magnets are super strong. And I love this aluminum knob. This is aluminum and it sticks out perfect and it holds very, very well. I do not anticipate that coming off at all. This, this hatch for the battery is even more well centered and it does take a little bit of effort to get it off. Okay. So other thoughts, other thoughts, um, landing gear is aluminum. Looks like it'll take quite the beating. Um, yeah, I think we'll, uh, we may uh, go ahead and tighten those. I have no idea how well those are tightened. Let's see, we got another screw there. Um, we have some screws, some tail hardware, and oh yeah, aileron linkages. So we'll have to adjust and install those. Got your carbon fiber, hollow carbon fiber spar, some battery Velcro, which is always nice. Keep extra of that this prop um so eolo prop i've never flown with one of these before however this plastic i'm going to keep an eye on this plastic this plastic feels like one of those kinds of plastics that when it's super cold it's going to get brittle uh nothing wrong with that per se because i like props that keep their shape and don't warp and bend because you lose efficiency from that but just a couple thoughts moving here so everything's on the table everything's been unpacked so now I'm just going to open up the instructions and I'm going to go to town. I am going to note the time. The time is 2.27 on the 28th. So let's get started. I am just going to do it to it. I'm going to follow the instructions one thing at a time. There's really nothing special about this airplane in terms of construction. Just follow the instructions and see how quick we can do it. go airplanes together and I got some basic programming done too let's check the time oh nice very nice I'm I'm, I'm pretty happy with that I, and uh, I, I have to say <laughs> credit to uh, OMP hobby they put together a nice airplane now a couple of things I should go over uh, because like every build, I'm completely honest, and there are a couple of things that you guys should be aware of. So the first thing I really wanna go over is what I had to do with the tail. Uh, so you saw me uh, put this little cross piece in, and it's the very first thing that I did. And uh, the, the wood underneath here does not come, well, there's, there's, there's a spot drilled out for it. So when you put these in, it's a good idea, just as a safety measure, to put a drop of CA in that wood so that it stays nice and hard for when you put your hardware in there. So a couple drops of glue, same thing in here. You saw me put the screw in, take it out, put a drop of glue, put it back in. Uh, takes a little bit of jiggling around to make sure that these line up, but pretty easy to do uh, before you tighten the screws down. And that went together just fine. The other thing you saw me have trouble with was uh, these little clevis things. So they're double adjustable, right? So that means you can adjust up here and down here. So 
you know, I, I like to use a stick clamped to the control surface to get it mostly level. If there's anything really out of level, you, know, you can you can adjust from there. But uh, there's a little bit of a little bit of down here, but I can adjust that out with my trims. Um, but for the most part, you know, that's pretty easy, easy to set up. Uh, obviously, using CA to connect the rudder turned out just fine. Uh, I use a little bit of a paper towel to wipe any excess so that we don't get any fogging on the uh, on the plastic covering. Um, anyway, we can we can address that later. So uh, with uh, with the wings, uh, the wing control surfaces were um, yeah, they're a bit, they, they were deceiving at first. So I, I, at first glance, I thought this was a symmetrical wing, but in a different light, let's see if I can get a, get a different perspective here. Whoop. Yeah, that's a little bit better, better. It's, it's actually semi-symmetrical. Okay. So it's more of a flat bottom, but it's not entirely flat. So with that, I wanted to have the bottom trailing edge of the aileron more in line because at first I was trying to center the aileron on the uh, on the on the, the surface here, and that's just not right. I was having to uh, unscrew those connecting rods far too much than what was called for, and that gave me pause to stop and think and say, "No, these are not too short. I just need to take a closer look at my wing." So that is done as well. Other thing I added, because I don't like to go digging around in my stuff. Um, I just like to set my receiver and forget it. So I added a couple of little six inch extensions. Uh, I've got a little paint marker that I label L and R for left and right wing. Um, and I am using separate channels so that if I want to try to do some kind of uh, uh, aileron mix um, where uh, I can do like flapperons, something like that. I can I can play with that as well. Other than that, I've got the throws set up just as it has in the manual. There are no flaps. I don't know why it has flaps in here, but I guess that's why low rate exponential, high rate exponential are kind of tilde'd out. But yeah, other than that, instructions are spot on. The only thing I would add is the couple drops of CA glue since you already got it out for here. Oh, because of the... Uh, tightening, over tightening on the, the connecting rods on the ailerons. I did add a couple of drops of medium CA glue. Uh, that's just because I was fiddling with them quite a bit and I didn't really trust them all that much after all my fiddling. So that being said, I'm going to go through and do a CG check and see if she's ready to fly. So I hope you enjoyed that quick, quick build. Uh, 40 minutes, not too shabby, not too shabby at all. So you guys got to know that uh, it's my pleasure to do this. I love this hobby. We're going to take this to the field some other day, <laughs> mostly because it's blowing about 40 mile an hour gusts outside right now. Winter weather in my area, not so friendly, but we'll put it through its paces sure enough. And I'll let you know how this one flies. So until next time, guys, build fast with your flying works of art.